Hey guys, it's Shane Edgar here with Cactus Creek Outdoors. Got something a little special for you guys today. Um, we're out here at Bartlett Lake, it's August 2nd, and the fish are doing the same thing they do every summer out here. They got the bait pushed up, they're schooling all around us, and sometimes these fish can be difficult to catch, even with all the bait and the activity. So I kind of came up with some baits with Cactus Creek Outdoors, that's my company. Um, to make it easier for you guys to catch these fish, I'm going to kind of showcase the baits and how to use them. And we're going to have some fish catches in there as well. Um, basically, what I'm doing is it's a set of four baits. Um, I'm going to sell the baits $10 a piece, so they're relatively affordable. If you buy the whole set of four, it's $30. So basically, if you buy the whole set, you get one for free. Um, I'll showcase the baits here. I'm going to have two different colors going on for it. Um, colors are super simple. I like simple when it comes to fishing. I don't like to get kind of crazy with my colors. So um, first I'll go through the baits and then I'll describe the colors. So everything's going to be top water related that we're throwing because who doesn't like to throw top water? So this first one is just a little bit uh, walking bait, a little bit bigger, probably about three, three and a half inches. Um, this bait's going to have a little bit wider walk. Um, to kind of get those fish in when they're not super, super active. But a um, little bit wider walk on this bait, walking bait. Then we have a little bit smaller walking bait. This one's probably half inch shorter, three quarters of an inch shorter. This bait's gonna have a real narrow walk so you can walk it super fast side to side. Um, really trigger those bites when they're going crazy, land right in the middle of them schooling, walk it super fast and they'll come up and smash it. Next bait we got is a normal popper. Everybody knows how to throw poppers. Obviously, you throw it out there, you can pop it slow, big pops, you can pop it fast, you know, real quick, little pops. Awesome little bait here. And the last one's a whopper popper style bait, except this one's kind of cool. One of the problems with a lot of whopper poppers is they do have that tail, so when you cast, they kind of surf through the air, and you can't make that exact cast that you want. This one, the blades or props actually condense down when you go to cast so it'll fly butt first through the air with the blades condensed in that way it'll fly kind of like a bullet but as soon as you start working it it comes across it opens up and then it'll have that normal whopper plopper sound and, and style as it goes across the water um, so basically that's what we got for the set of four baits um, two different colors most both colors are going to have a clear base for the most part the bait's small so you don't want to have anything that looks too big you know solid pattern is going to make it make the bait seem bigger than what it really is and that's that's not what we want we want it looking small so this one's basically just clear with a blackish pearl back um i say pearl black it's basically black that has some like shine to it and then we'll have some better photos and up close video so you can see you know exactly the colors but so basically clear with the black back and then we're gonna have clear with like that pearl silver back have that little more shad color both colors are shad representations but this one's silver the other one's black so we're gonna try all the baits out different colors or you know the two different colors the four different baits in each color and uh Kind of show you how they work and see, show you how easy it is to come out here and just load the boat with a bunch of fish and have a good time. So stick with us. Got it in there.
nice thing about this one is it stays in the zone a lot longer. Yeah. Maybe that's some muscles. Please tell me you got that one. Yeah. <laughs> All right, good. That fish came all the way out. Guys, the fishing's so stinking good. Caught one right here. <laughs> Picked up the other rod, caught another one. It's amazing right now, guys. It's amazing. Fishing is phenomenal. You need to get out here. Got him. Dang, don't lose him. He's a big one. Boat flipping. Well, guys, we have caught the snot out of him this morning. We're going to take a break from filming. That way uh, Dave can, can get in on the action here. Um, as you can see, the fish are just going crazy. Um, out of the four baits, the best two are the walking, the walking baits. Um, the little bit longer one has the wider walk. It's pretty quiet. It's not, not a very loud knocker. So the little bit longer walking bait, I think has caught more fish, was a little bit more productive. But lots of Bartlett fish, man. Pound and a half, pound and three quarter. Let this guy go. Um, these baits are small and it represents the shad. The shad are about three inches right now. So surprisingly, these little baits, they cast really, really far. So I'm throwing them on a, on a bait casting rod, just a normal topwater 7.2, um, medium topwater rod. Um, but they'd work great on a spinning rod. Um, both colors worked great, didn't, didn't really matter. Um, the little bit smaller walking bait is a little bit heavier, so it casts a little bit further. Um, but it's got two big knockers in it, so you can hear it's real, real loud um, compared to the little bit longer one. The size difference there you can see is about three quarters of an inch, not too crazy. But this one is is pretty quiet and uh, has, like I was saying earlier in the video, has a real wide walk, walks about eight inches. The smaller one has a little bit louder knock, as you can hear, and it, it works real tight and you can really move it quick. You can get right into the boils, move it really quick, and uh, man, these fish just smash it. Um, in the, the boils this morning kind of took a little bit to take off, um, probably an hour, hour and a half after the sun came up. So um, what we did this morning is we just threw the, the whopper plopper style bait around, just covered bank. The uh, What you want to do is just get as close as you can as you can to these rock banks and um, and uh, just parallel run it down it medium speed let that thing be thrown in the water and those fish will smash it um, the popper today didn't work quite as well as the walking baits um, I think they wanted something with a little more action and a little bit quieter so um, like I said guys I'm selling the baits ten dollars a piece um, if you buy the set of four, it's 30, so it's, you know, buy three, get one free pretty much. You can pick. Um, but we're right here, you can see the fish are, the fish are going nuts. And uh, if Dave wants to pan here and kind of show, we're right here at the Yellow Cliffs boat ramp, guys. It does not take a boat to come out here to, to catch these fish. I mean, you can drive right down here to the, to the uh, Yellow Cliffs boat ramp. I know the, the road was closed. Uh, over the weekend. I don't know if it's opened back up yet, but guys you can come down here catch 30-40 fish in a morning 
all on top water and it's an absolute blast. You don't even need a boat to do it. Right here you can walk on all this bank and the fish are blowing up pretty much right on the bank or within casting distance of the bank. So um, hit me up guys on Facebook or Instagram, Cactus Creek Outdoors AZ or uh, just Shane Edgar on Instagram or Facebook and uh, get some baits ordered so you guys can come out here and have a blast. Thank you.